Hello everyone and welcome back to more Doki Doki Literature Club. Yes, we are back for more because in the last episode we basically um, read poems again. We read poems but this time around we noticed that there was something up with Sayuri. So yes, so when we ca first came into the club room we noticed that Sayuri has been acting a little weird when we were trying to talk to her and we were because we were talking amongst ourselves with the, um, the rest of the other club members but then we were like, where's Sayuri? And then we, we really look over and she's by her desk and she seems really spaced out and she's, you know, kind of out of it. So we, will, we go over and we ask her, but then she really, br she like dismissively brushed us off kind of thing. She's like, oh, no, I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Like, you know, whatever. And like, go talk to everybody else kind of thing. And then we're like, okay, you're, you're sure. Then, you know, you can always talk to me, you know, kind of thing if something's bothering you. So we go back. We, I don't know. I think we talked to Monica about it. We we're like, hey, Monica is like, do you think there's something up with Sayuri? And she was like, I don't know. I was like, do you think there's something? And she's like, well, yeah. And we're, yeah, we're like, yeah. And then she's like, you know, now, now that I think about it, yeah, something is uh, something's like up with her. So she was uh, she was like, okay, I'll go talk to her and see what's up. Because, you know, because we were like, for some reason, when she asked us, we were like, uh, why don't we talk to her? She was like, oh, uh, we were like, yeah, she's keeping us, keeping it away from us for some reason. And so she's like, okay, fine, I'll, I'll have to go talk to her about it. So she did. She, we didn't really hear what they were saying. But then she comes back over. She's like, everything's fine. And we're like, okay, if you, you, you say so. And so then yeah, afterwards, we read, read poems, or we wanted to. We went to Sayuri first, but then she was like, she read the poem. She read our poem, and she was like, hey, this is like, I really like the style of your poem, but like, I thought you would, you know write something that would impress Yuri or Natsuki and we're like no of course not because you know the first thing that comes to mind when we're writing poems is you and of course Sayuri gets really emotional after after that and she's like no don't do that you know I want you to get along with everybody and your friends and my friends and we're like Sayuri what's up and she was like you know what I'm not feeling great I'm gonna go home early so I'll see ya and we're like what and then, so yeah she leaves without us reading her poems we go over to Yuri we Yuri reads our poem she was and she gets she overthinks the thing that you know thinking that we don't take her advice to try to change up our writing style or some shit like that because it's really similar to um, again Sayori's kind of writing poem and she was like maybe you know like I should really stop talking and like people like I realize now that people don't really enjoy talking to me because of this blah 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 and she, you know she was she's putting herself down and then we're like no no that's not it's no, that's not it Yuri like no don't say don't think about that and then she was like oh can you leave me alone now kind of thing is like I don't feel well and she's we're like okay so we left her alone we didn't even read her poem either and then afterwards we went to Natsuki we read her poem I really loved her poem she, her poem was really cute and she was like yeah I was just thinking about writing something positive now and then afterwards we, were, we went to go read Monica's and then uh, Monica's is like a little like again more serious shit I don't know not really anything that stuck out something about finding knowledge and shit and so Monica was just like yeah and then we we're just like yeah you guys like to write a lot of sad things and we we're like and she's like haha well if there's you know the world's okay then you know there's nothing to write about you know and then afterwards reading poems Monica assigned duties for us to prepare for the festival we were we they were doing post posters were poster decorations no posters were Monica and Sayuri cupcakes with Natsuki of course and Yuri ended up doing the decorations in the atmosphere and we were left to either help any of the girls so I chose Sayuri first because yes she's my home girl and I want to help her and I think that you know maybe we could check up on her but no and uh, Monica insisted that or everybody insisted that Sayuri was helping Monica already so it's like why would we come in kind of thing and we're like okay fine in the end I chose Yuri to help because she she overthinks a lot and I don't want her to you know stress herself out so we ended up exchanging numbers and we, we were planning to meet up on Sunday to uh, at our uh, Yuri meeting us at our house for to like you know work on shit so afterwards when Sunday comes around we we're like waiting for Yuri to come over but then we we're like what's up with Sayuri let's go check up on her so we do we go check up on Sayuri and we we're like hey you know what's up girl and you know are you going to help about Monica today she's like yeah only online we didn't really choose to meet up or anywhere or some or some shit like that and then afterwards we we're like hey you know what's wrong something's definitely wrong I'm not leaving until you tell me and then you know now fi uh, finally uh, Sayuri revealed that yes she has been dealing with very like you know severe depression late, like as of late or all along I, I guess and that's why she gets it's hard for her to get up in the morning you know she's like uh, she just wants us to become friends with her friends and that's the only way to kind of like make her happy in a way and we're just like oh my god sorry why haven't you told me all any of this like 
for so long and she was just like it's because you know she wants to keep things the way that they are and she doesn't want us to needlessly worry about her or care about her in any sort of sense and we're like no that's ridiculous like god uh, you know I, I care about you and of course I'm gonna worry about you kind of thing and and blah blah we had a really we had a really touching moment we hugged her and we we're like hey you know like don't don't be so like if you if you can call yourself selfish for you know wanting nobody to care about you then I'm a, you can call me selfish for wanting to care about you and stuff and so on so we we're like yeah so we offered to share the day of the fest the festival day with her the entire time and yeah and then off we went to go meet Yuri and Yuri came to our house really super early we worked on some couple couple of banners and shit and that that can decorate the room and then we had a moment where we accidentally spilled paint on her and we took a we got a towel and we like patted her you know her face from wiping away the paint and then she got a little bit dreamy and oh yeah we found out that she has a thing for knives yes yeah, so yeah there's that and then year and then afterwards yuri goes to leave and we're like hey you know we we found a lot uh, a lot about yuri how she's like really um she's like she opens up more when it's just like a, like just between one or two people i guess or just one person so yeah we're like hey yuri like you know don't get so down like you know we don't have enough time to like hang out now because you know you gotta go now but like you know pro like you know this isn't gonna be the last time we're gonna hang out and chill like you know we can do this some other time and she's like yeah that'd be nice and she goes to like i guess hold her hold our hand or some shit like that she was super close but then sayori shows up we're like holy shit sayori and she was like oh yeah and then yuri leaves of course and then sayori was just like yeah oh, you know i wanted i didn't plan to come over but then i wanted to because i wanted to see i wanted to check up on you guys and you know being by herself just you know she ha that means that she's alone with her thoughts and her thoughts are being mean to her so that's why she came over and we're like you know nothing's going on between us with yuri and so we were like and then she confesses to us and she's like yeah i like i i messed up because now i feel so conflicted because she's like i have a crush she loves us now but then she wants us to become friends with the rest of her friends but then of course there's that feeling where she's like oh no what happens if he falls in love with her friends and you know she loves us so much that you know it's kind of torn she's torn but we're like no you said you i love you <laughs> don't worry about it girl like i'm the one who loves you and she's like we're gonna get through this together that's where we are that's where we end off that day. We're finally heading over to the day of the festival now and see what's gonna happen. Hopefully nothing bad. So of all the days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayuri. But Sayuri isn't answering her phone. What? I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Why not? Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry and I gently roll it up to take with me. Yes. Oh yeah, that's she left the banner to us because, you know, it was dry. Yeah, it was wet. Uh, she sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Uh, funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayuri and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Really? We're not gonna even go over to her house? God. I don't think that's too much. I think it's, it's the right thing to do. What's it? What's it? You're the first one here! Am I? <laughs> that's, uh, thanks for being early! That's uh, that's funny. I thought I, I thought at least Yuri would be here right now. Yuri would be here by now, right? I thought she had to she has to go prep this shit. <laughs> Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desk in the classroom. Okay, they must be the ones she prepared that has all the poems they're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. Wow, you're really like you know for Monica. So that's the one I'll be performing. Yes. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayuri with you. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, she overslept again. Uh, that dummy. Uh, you'd think that on days this important she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayuri told me yesterday. Yes, jerk. And I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. Yes, I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all? Yes, that's what I'm saying. God. Ah ha ha! Okay, you should take a little responsibility for her, well, Sid. Yes. <laughs> I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. Monica, are you like all seeing? Omnipresent? What is this? You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, what are you know? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. <laughs> <laughs> but I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now. 
I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez, you don't know the full story at all, so... You don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. You're starting to scare me, Monica. <laughs> like, who are you really? I'm, I'm a little frightened. Eh? Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that, right? Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. Okay. I grab, a, I grab one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Yeah. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flip through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flip to Sayuri's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. Oh, it's the one that I haven't read before. Oh, is it the one she wasn't... Oh. It's the one that she probably didn't give us that day, right? Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my... Get out of my head, yes, etc, etc, get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem, but a poem is never actually finished, it just stops moving. Get out of my head before I, what is this? Before I do what I know is best for you, listen to everything she said to me, show you how much I love you, finish writing this book. Okay, so this is us. Listen to everything she said to me. Monica, probably? This is her, and this is her. What is your... Sayuri. Ah. What is this? Reading the poem, I get a pint... I get a pit in my stomach. What's it? Oh, what's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. Nothing! This poem feels completely different from everything else that Yuri's written. Yeah, no shit. But more than that, I- uh, I changed my mind. I'm going to get Sayuri. So, yeah, bye. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? God damn it, what's it? Why am I so fucking dumb? Why would you- why'd you hesitate that morning? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Shut up, Monica. Monica calls out- Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. Okay, Sayuri, Sayuri. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayuri. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of her, even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy, right? Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all that. Sh that's all she needs, and what I want to give her. Sayuri. I reach Sayuri's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayuri. Sayuri. She really is a heavy sleeper. <laughs> I hope that's all that she is. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. Well, it's, it's whatever. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? Yeah. In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayuri's room, I knock on her door. Sayuri, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Of course not, but like, no. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? I'm coming in, but she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. <gasps> Fuck my life. Oh my fucking god. Oh Jesus. Oh fuck. This is where. Oh, fuck my life. Uh huh. Huh. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. Oh my god. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayuri I would be there for her. Yeah, I fucked up on that. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Am I supposed to just make her as my dearest friend? Is that what she wants? But she oh shit. Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? 
Confessing to her? Sh I shouldn't have confessed to her. Ah, that's not what Sayuri needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it always has been, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club, screw the festival, I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with, she's gone forever now. Nothing I can do to bring nothing I can do bring can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. Oh, but I can! I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing I nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now I can never take it back. Never. 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 Not when my <laughs> Yeah, fuck. Shit. Ah! <sighs> oh. Wow. Okay, let's just. Let's just. You know what? Let's just. Can I? Can I reload my slave? Can I? Can I, can I reload? Can I reload? The finals missing or cur. Oh, it's one of those games, isn't it? Oh, fuck! This safe house corrupt starting a new game. What? Um, is this what it's supposed to happen? Like, is this- Okay, it's either this is supposed to happen, it's all planned, or it's like the more you fuck up, the more fight um, the more of the girls that you can't go back to, like, fix. Is that it? I see an annoying girl running towards me from distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayuri, my neighbor and good friend since we were children, blah blah blah, but now we're like blah blah blah. You know that kind of friend that you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long? We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would have she would oversleep more than more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and let da -da 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 catch up to me. What the fuck? It's changing to Yuri! What? It's an ordinary school day like any other. Morning are usually the, the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups and friend groups walking to school together. Yo, this is fucked up. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, my bad. It's like this is some sort of game that I can just go back and do it over again. Well, fuck me. Guess I'm wrong. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. The school day, the school day is ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Oh my god, so Sayori is completely erased from like our memories and our like storyline and we're starting over because you know here she's like she would have come in and was like hey join the literature club kind of thing clubs there really aren't any that interest me besides most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with i guess i have no choice but to start with the anime club what's it what the f monica oh my goodness i totally didn't expect to see you here it's been a while right what Ah, uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, she was, she, she's in our class, yes. Yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other, well, we barely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Oh yeah, last year, yeah, we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, athletic, but basically completely out of my league, yes. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come here for, anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Oh, or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Literature club. Ah, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Oh, she told us this before. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? 
Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Oh, shit. <laughs> a literature club? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um... <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. She's counting Sayuri. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. Unless she's counting herself. <laughs> well, I can see that. But it's not the, But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, what's it? Hey, what's it? By any chance that you're looking for a club to join? Ah, uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case... In that case... Is there any chance you, would, you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but... If you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Oh, please? Oh, um... Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome! You're really sweet, what's it? You know that? Okay, it, it's nothing really. Shall we go then? I'll look for I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Oh, who am I? And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Oh, I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Okay, I'm back! And I brought a guest with me! Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Eh? Yeah, uh, a guest? Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh my god. Don't me don't be me, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Wasid. Oh god, all words escape me in this situation. This club, it's full of girls! It's full of incredibly cute girls, yes. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? No. What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is the one is one I didn't I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think that she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. Oh, bro, we're. Oh, God, role change. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet you both. Ne meet the both of you. So I ran into a sit in the classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Oh, wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry, I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, was it? This is all very weird to me. I don't like this. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, so, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like festivals that much more important. I'm confident that we can really grow this club before we graduate. Alright, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to just find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying, to, carrying a tea set. 
She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep, you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Yes, uh, I guess. Hey, <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Oh, eh, that's not it. That's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I be I believe you. Yeah. Well, tea and reading might not be mi not might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So I said, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga, yes. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. And not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Oh, well, let's see. Yuri chases the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build up deep, build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed, to she seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psycho psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can deliberately take advantage of your own lack of ima imagination to completely throw you off our loop? Yes. Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. <laughs> yes, ah, I read a horror book once. Uh, I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimum, minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Ah, I'd expect, uh, I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really? Yeah, really. If a story makes me think or takes me to another world, I, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Yes, I do too. Oh, that? Why is that? Well, I just... <sighs> Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually write this... You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of pa you left a piece of scrap paper behind your f behind last club meeting. Yes, it looks like you were working on a poem called. Don't say it out loud, and get that back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems. Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I th I think that's impressive. Why don't you share? Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't... You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet? Uh, I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing the level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing you the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing... Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Ugh. I guess, I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? We write, <laughs> we just read poems <laughs> and write poems. Uh, Natsuki and Yuri quizzically look at Mon- Quizzic- Yeah, Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Ugh. Uh, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start work finding activities for all of us to participate together. It, together, yeah. I did decide to take on the responsibility of vice, cap vice president after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree with that as well, Asid? Yeah, sure, hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with, with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um... I lose my train of thought. Uh, all three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... Ahem. 
Eh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I, I guess I need to tell you the truth, Rusted. The thing is... We don't have enough members yet for our, to form a, an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... Ah, uh, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear head decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting any, everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. <laughs> okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls like the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness! Really? Do you really mean that, was it? Yeah. <laughs> it could be fun, right? <laughs> you really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. What's it? I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's excitement. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once. What's it? I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea, the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. Uh huh. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Oh, and I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Uh-huh. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Yes. 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 A joke. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and then she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him. Before a disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. What? Wait a minute. A third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the script to derail. So, okay, if this is if this is about Sayuri, then Sayuri was originally supposed to be in love with us, and nothing more complicated than that. Like that was her end goal. But then, but then something a third this third party messed it up and made it so that she hated herself for being in love and that was that caused the script to derail and the con and it ca it caused a contradiction so the universe started to collapse but she killed herself just in time <laughs> so that means so that means she what What the actual fuck? My saves are gone. What? Oh, I what the fuck, guys? What the actual fuck? Hold on, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna do this poem thing, and I'm gonna see where I am for time, and I'll see if I can leave this episode here because. Okay, well. Oh my god, are we the problem? Is that it? Is that the end thing? Are we fucking up these, these girls' lives? Is that it? Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, I feel like... Okay, let's, let's just go down the list. Let's just go down in the row of order. So let's just try to go for Natsuki now. So, kawaii. Um... Anime? No, anime. Yes, anime. That's her. Um... 
Boop. Yes. Um. Jumpy. Um. Uh, bouncy. Um. Uh, uh, puppy. <laughs> puppy. Uh. Sure. <laughs> Uh, milk, cause she looks baking and shit. Parfait, yes. Marshmallow, yes. So she's really easy to fucking, you know, find. Uh, fluffy. Um, da 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 da. Uh, laugh. Uh, da da. Promise, yes. Promise. Uh, fireflies. Uh, playground. Uh, blanket. Uh. Holiday! It's holiday! Doki Doki! <laughs> uh, cheer! And kitty! Okay. Alright. Hi again, Wested. Okay, I'm gonna see why I have for time. I'm gonna see where I can. Let's see. Or if I should end this episode here. Oh no, we still good for time. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Holy shit. Okay, hi again, Wested. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. Haha. <laughs> nah, don't worry. It's fine. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my words. Yeah. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was at the last. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Oh. What? What was? Thanks for keeping your promise, Wasid. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Uh, making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Uh. Oh come on! Like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Whoa! Natsuki certainly has a big mouth up for that I can't read because you're in the fucking way, Monica. <laughs> Natsuki certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps manga collections in the club room. M -m 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 Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. <gasps> Unless it's Monica that's the third party. Manga is literature because she's because we can't we can't romance her, right? What? Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Wasid. We'll make sure to put you we'll make sure to put your comfort choice, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um anyway. Now that you're in the club and all, uh, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read? Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in the club- I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. Oh wait, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Ah, uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be a part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Uh, are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on, on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. I, I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And you could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'd like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. Well, I don't. <laughs> I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Uh, well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. <gasps> I just realized everything was tilted! Yeah, I thought I was tripping balls! I thought I was going crazy! I was like, why does everything seem really out of perspective and out of skew? What? Uh, now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense, ex intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki's rummaging around in the closet. I guess we don't see what she's doing. Ugh! I hear Natsuki utter an exacerbated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Hey, Natsuki. You looking for something in there? Fucking Monica, what the fuck is going on? She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. Yo, I think it's Monica. I think it's fucking Monica. 
It's Monica. It has to be her. It has to be her. It's her. She's the one who last spoke to fucking Sayuri, and Mon and Sayuri was going on about something Monica said, and we didn't we didn't get to it. Yeah, she never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? You read manga, right? Ah, uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where when you can't admit you're really into until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? That I'm the nerdy type? Uh, I see. <laughs> there's a lone there's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Oh my god. Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with the one seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. Yeah, I know that feel. <laughs> I feel you. I get a closer look at the box that she's admiring. Parfait girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That that probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. <laughs> if you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on that door. <laughs> you can do it through the glass on that door. You can do it through the glass on that door. Yes. Wow, she's so sassy. <laughs> she points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was in the tone of your voice. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing, was did. Consider this a le oh don't fuck don't judge a book what the okay yeah I get it in fact Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box I'm gonna show you exactly why she shoves the book right into my hands ah I stare at the cover it features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses okay it's exceedingly moe <laughs> don't just stand there Ugh. Natsuki grabs my arms and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. I bet you this is Monica. Monica is behind this fucking fucked up shit. I swear to fucking god. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? Cause she's being- she's breaking fourth walls and shit all over the place. She knows something's going on. I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh? Why is that? Ah, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Ugh. <laughs> Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a sec- It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she ho while she hopes I won't notice. Okay, I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Huh? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. And maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Yeah, uh, what? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk- So I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the for the lack of plot. Okay, okay, we read. We're reading. Are you sh are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. <laughs> I guess it's fun sharing something like. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince my, any of my. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Uh... Huh? Huh? What? What? You don't? You don't? Um... Um... Uh, that's not... I don't have any friends. <laughs> well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Nope. Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Yeah, she don't got no friends. <laughs> it's okay, girl. I'll be your friend. Ah, uh, sorry. Huh. <laughs> Like, I could ever get any of my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. 
I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? <laughs> Makes me want to punch them in the face. <laughs> okay. Erg, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who, who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards other losers over time. Uh, but it's probably harder for someone like you. Huh? Yeah, it, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> Wait, which part? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. Natsuki, what's going on? Are you in an abusive early- Are you in an abusive home? Is that your story? Natsuki. Uh, yes, oh god. Oh god, okay, well, let's just continue. Yeah, my dad would beat the shit out of me if he, find if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I, can I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Uh, well, it's not like if that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh, <laughs> uh. So? Ah, uh, jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 I'll read. I flip the page. Okay, and we read. And we read. And we read some more. And we keep reading. And we read. Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. And she's asleep. <laughs> it looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Yeah? <laughs> Something Natsuki collapses straight into me. Oh no. Hey! Oh, why? What's going on? Natsuki, you're scaring me! <laughs> oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Uh, here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it, at Nat she throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. Are you just, you know, a little low blood sugar? Is, is that it? <laughs> that's kind of, that's, that's a little frightening. Like, I, should, I should keep a power bar on me too. If that's, that's not how it's going to be. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears out the wrapper. I told you not to give. She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Wasted. She's fine. Uh-huh, that's what you said about Sayuri. It just happens every now and then. Yeah, that's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? <laughs> oh god. Okay. Alright, who should I show my poem first? Jesus, save. Oh my god, fucking hell. Okay, so is this gonna be like the same kind of poem? So let's go with Natsuki first. So I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Okay, Natsuki, let's see what you got. Ugh. Free fly. Ugh. Oh. Uh, okay, okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. <laughs> okay, first of all, um, what? <laughs> but I, I, I did it, I did it with all the words you love, girl! Like, come on! <laughs> give me some, give me some credit! Natsuki rereads my poems. My poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh, then what's the point of sharing it in the first place? I wrote this when I, I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. In fact, I remember how I said I wanted to read your- In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? Uh, that's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to- I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Ugh. <laughs> well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poems if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha! Well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. <laughs> and you went and ruined it! I hope you're happy. Uh, I didn't. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? <laughs> yes. Natsuki retorts. Natsuki's retorts get caught in her throat. Uh, you're so. Oh my god. You, you just. You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like it. Like you're so, y'all self-important. God. Pretty sure you never actually said that. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that more to myself. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. Ah, oh, she's just some dirt. It's okay. I can't figure it out. If, I can't figure it out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Grr, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Okay. 
Oh yeah, so it's the same thing. Uh, eagles, oh sort of. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Oh no, it's the same thing, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, yeah. I told you that you weren't, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be on, just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style, sh your writing style wouldn't, make m wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone go, seeing everyone you do, uh, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Oh yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for the rhyme at the end, but then it made it then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line, you know. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, that I, then I won't take that away from her. Okay, so is it the same with Yuri then? Because if it's actually the same with Yuri and Monica, then I can just kind of skip. Well, the skip button's allowing me to skip, so like, I don't know. Okay, so the skip button stopped me here. So, okay, I think Yuri's lines were okay where they're the same. And here's Monica. Hi, Weston. Having a good time so far? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you have any suggestions to the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Uh, alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring the things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? Yes. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ah -ha -ha. Don't worry, Wasid. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? Okay, so, but it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like it, Wasid. Really? Uh, it's a lot cuter than I expected. Ha ha ha. Oh jeez. No, no, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer too. So take that as a compliment. Ah ha ha ha. If you say so. Yup. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. Oh yeah. Ah ha 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 ha. Natsuki's dad doesn't give her much- Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. I wonder why? But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier. Like literally shut down? <laughs> this is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. Oh no. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know? Yeah. Uh, sorry, just trying to look on the bright side. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Sure. Don't worry, I'm not very good. You, you sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Yes, I see. Well, uh, let's read it then. I wonder if it's the same. Hole and wall. I wonder. That's a, okay, so blah blah. Uh, are they talk What? Yeah. Come on, let me let me scroll. Damn it, hole in wall. So, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings, but my but my eyes, bleh, but my burned eyes can no longer see colors. Are there are the others in the room? Are they talking, or are they simply poems uh, on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. Right, it's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. Also, it's a little different. But he wasn't looking at me. Do you want me to look at you, Monica? Is that it? Are you, like, fucking up other girls' lives because I'm not looking at you the same way? But I can't, girl. The game's not letting me. <laughs> Are you gonna change that girl? Is that it? Oh my god. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform. If 
that's what you call it. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for. Uh, sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. It says I can skip, so maybe I should. Let's try. Yeah. Okay. So few. There we go. We skipped. I guess it's just the same thing the first time around when she when she wrote her poem. And we we're like, yeah, it's really freeform and it's really like abstract. Phew. I guess that's everyone. Yeah. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a this is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I that, I guess that's what I uh, that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expression change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Uh, um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Uh, yours is cute. Uh, cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feelings of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant uh, the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to? Tr you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um. Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Huh? <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it, which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Wasit did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... <laughs> Excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't, expect to I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Ugh. I was still like my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up, yes. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? Yes, that's not what I said. Oh, that's not what I... Ugh. This is the part where we gotta choose, except we didn't choose Sayuri. You can't choose Sayuri this time. Damn it. Y you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous of us didn't appreciate my advice more than you appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ugh. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Busted started showing up. Uh, Natsuki! Uh, Natsuki, that's a little... Uh, this doesn't involve you. Taking out, on your, taking out your own insecurities on others like that? Yeah, taking out your own insecurities like that? Do you really act as young as you look, Natsuki? Me? Look who's talking, you wannabe edgy bitch! Oh! Edgy? Sorry that my life is too much for someone your mental age to comprehend. See? Oh, just say that proves you my point. Oh, most people lean to most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. Oh my god, guys. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Oh, well, before you well, be careful. You might cut yourself on the e on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? Oh, what is the shade? Did, did you just access me? For, did you just accuse me of cutting myself? Oh, my God. What the fuck is wrong with your head? What the hell? Yeah, go on. Like, what? let us sit here everything you think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Ah. Uh. A suddenly Yuri turns towards me as if she just noticed I was standing here. What's it? She, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Oh, how did I get dragged into that? I don't know whatever. I don't agree to this, but you're okay. <laughs> oh, God. Guys, I don't know what to do. I don't want to take any sides. I want to fuck this up. I don't want to fuck this up. I can't even save. Fuck, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> But I was going for Nasty, but Nasty was being a complete bitch. Yeah, she threw some really low blows. Like, honestly. Yuri. Yuri. I can't even choose. What the fuck? 
What the fuck? What? I'm so confused. What is happening? <gasps> Monica? 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 Monica, what's happening? <laughs> Monica? Um... Hey, what's it? Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Can, yeah. Okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Wait. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. <laughs> it's probably better for us to stay out of this. I agree. I don't know what the hell was happening. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Ah ha ha ha. Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little bit more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh no! Oh girl, I didn't mean to! I'm gonna save. <laughs> I don't know if this is- I don't know if this is gonna help or not, but like, I'm gonna save. She quickly turns- she quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't- I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Oh, Yuri. I didn't mean it. I- I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. What's it? Please don't hate me. No, please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. <sighs> we know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Uh huh? <laughs> anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Uh. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Ugh. Okay. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. It, I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Wasid. It would be just embarrassing. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. Ha. Huh. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. Uh, but I really appreciate you understand. It's. It's Monica. It's Monica. It's Monica. It's. Fucking Monica! Holy shit! It's Mo she's running the show. She's the one who's running. It. Okay, let's let's try this again. Let's still go for it. Let's still go for Natsuki. I feel like I I still want to try to do this by order. Let's just go for it. The bunny, the play, it's the the pow, it's a it's a holiday, it's a pink, uh, fun. Candy, uh, puppy, uh, journey. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, same thing. Shit. Cheeks. And. Hope. Oh, no. Uh, whoopsies. And. Smile. Fluffy. What the fuck? What is this? I love ye. Let's click on it. <gasps> what happened? What? Cheer. Firefly. What? <gasps> What's going on? I'm scared, guys! Huh? <laughs> I'm a little- I'm a little frightened. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. And entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Okay, welcome back, Osid. Ah, uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the still hangs in the air a little. Um, 
Yuri glances over her shoulder looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a, at a desk, and surprisingly Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. Okay, about yesterday. Yeah, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. Uh, and something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Uh, please don't think I- don't, Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri... I'm happy that you were considerate and, and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Yeah, even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make any- it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know that you really didn't mean it. Ah, uh, what's it? Don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad you're- you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around and... Ah, uh, uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, I was still so- I was also kind of wondering where she was. Probably messing behind the scenes or some shit, trying to get this- this game together, huh? Man. Uh, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either? <sighs> oh. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. And no, I haven't. Jeez, uh, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. Uh, what? Uh, why are you looking at me like that? Oh, um, are you- Natsuki, about yesterday. I, I just wanted to apologize. I promised I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? <gasps> Did she memory wipe her? Is that it? Did you do something yesterday? Oh. Eh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. What? Wait, no, 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 no. Wait. Is this, maybe this is Monica just fucking with us. And like making Natsuki say these lines, but it's not her. Or somebody is. Like, this isn't her text. Like, it makes sense, right? I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But... Uh, what the fuck? Meebles, sailcloth, blindsight... Lifeline and what the fuck? Uh, I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it kind it's besides it's kind of nice to hear since I always since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. Eh hey, hey, hey. okay no not at all I don't hate you. Ah uh -huh. well you're kind of weird but I don't hate you either. Uh Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! <laughs> Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry! Ah, there you are. Uh, I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. I'm hella sus more than anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. Uh, I was not. Ha 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 ha. What took you so long anyway? Ah, uh, uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must have. Heard, I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Oh, uh, piano? Yeah, I wasn't aware you played piano music as well, Monica. Ah, uh, don't give me. Don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Ah, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Ah, uh -huh, that's... Uh, Monica looked at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That's, that sounds cool. Okay, I'll look forward to it. Okay, is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, what's it? Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, uh, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's what I—I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. 
Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not real. Not not really. Yeah, I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. Closet. Um. Yeah. Uh. Since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. Uh. What? I mean, in the club. I. Uh, I. I suppose. Yes. I suppose so. Yeah. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave me that book. After you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. Ugh. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. Yeah. <laughs> After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine! She's reading over there, see? <laughs> Don't think about her so much. <laughs> She's used to being ignored. Oh, what? Come on, we're going over there. What? Okay. What's the story about anyway? <laughs> well, well, um, yeah. I look at the cover of the book, as the book is titled Portrait of Markov. Yeah, there's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. Whoa. And the people trapped there has this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. Oh. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to- What? Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. <laughs> okay. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. Uh, that's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yeah, Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn- So that dark turn came out of nowhere. Came from nowhere, yes. Ah. Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, was it? No, it's not that. <laughs> I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of things, kinds of stories, so don't worry. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those kind of things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that it's just that this kind of story, it's the kind of cha it's the kind of challenges to look at life from a new from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Huh? Then suddenly, uh, I'm rambling, aren't I? <laughs> Not again. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I, when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets incredibly- uh, I kind of forget why to pay attention to other people. <laughs> I'm so- I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. Uh, and please stop me if I start talking too much. That's- are you really not seeing any of this, Wilson? I really don't think you need to worry. Uh, that just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah, uh, that's... Uh, well, that's true. In, in fact, uh, I might as well get started reading it, right? Uh, yes. I, I mean, you don't have to, but... Uh, what are you saying? <laughs> I'll read your scary, fucked up book. Let me... Let me just get... Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieve the book that I have put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, yeah. Uh, are you sure? <laughs> you seem a little apprehensive. That's... that's... Uh, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. It, that is, reading in company with someone. Oh, I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, Alright. I open the book and start to... I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in, Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Oh, uh, sorry. I was just I was just bathing in the feeling of oh my god. Yuri, you you really apologize a lot, don't you? <laughs> I, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean, uh, <laughs> here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Uh, once we read, once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, uh, I guess this makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Okay, 
We go, we we gonna do this. Two man reading. Okay. Yuri t Yuri takes my left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and the forefinger and forefinger. Ah. I do the same with the right arm. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh, uh, yeah. I have to turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? Uh, I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah! Thanks! We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finished that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri. This might be silly this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Ah, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. <laughs> not the psycho, psycho part where she, you know, killing people and shit. I thought you meant something else about her. No, something else. Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. I don't know, so I don't know why that came into your head. Into my head. Ah, <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Eh? <laughs> Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Uh, Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. Uh, I didn't even notice. Anyways, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? What's it? Did something happen just now? Uh, eh? No, I have no idea. Yuri was acting all straight. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, no, nothing. Ah, don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sh- Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Yeah. Eh? Uh, shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Uh, well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd just get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. Yeah. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, and then slip it back into my bag. Okay. So I think I'm gonna leave it here, you guys. I think this is good. We got some pretty crazy, sh trippy shit going on, and I'm a little frightened. I'm a little scared. I'm starting to get a little scared. Like there's some underlying shit, like shady ass business going on. So I, 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 just, I think this is good. This is good, you guys. We, we are finally hitting a little bit of that, that notoriety that the game is known for. And I don't know. I'm kind of scared. I, I'm scared. If this is like, if this is, if this is just the beginning, then like, I don't know what's gonna happen once we get into the thick of things. So yes, yeah, so we are gonna tune in next time and see where this is gonna lead us. Hopefully, it's, it's, it's in a way where like I don't, where it's like it depends on me. Where it's like if I don't fuck up with some of the girls who's on their choice, then. I can save them from being data erased or some shit like that. Like, or like, if it, if it turns out to be like this is supposed to happen either way, regardless, then like I guess I don't feel as bad. So, anyways, until then, you guys, we will see you next time on Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> Bye.